Hi guys, welcome back to Solid Gold. Now, as you may know, many types of baby fish, including goldfish, grow best on a diet of live baby brine shrimp. Baby fish, also called fry, eat baby brine shrimp readily because the movements of the shrimp entice them to eat. Brine shrimp are good for fry to eat because they're high in protein, are easily digestible, and they can survive for hours in the fry tank, giving the fry a more continuous food source. So hatching baby brine shrimp is fairly simple and it's easy to make brine shrimp hatcheries on your own. This video will show you step by step how to construct your brine shrimp hatchery and how to raise the brine shrimp. Supplies you'll need are two one liter bottles, an air pump, a lamp, flexible airline tubing, rigid airline tubing, brine shrimp eggs, baking soda, and salt. And for salt, you can use kosher salt, canning and pickling salt, rock salt, or any non-iodized and additive-free salt. First, carefully cut the bottom one to two inches off of one bottle and discard the bottom piece. This will be inverted to become the reservoir to hatch the brine shrimp in. Brine shrimp hatch best when they're continuously circulating, so the inverted bottle is a good shape because there's no bottom surface for the shrimp eggs to settle on. So then you're going to carefully cut the bottom 6 inches off of the second bottle and discard the top piece. This second bottle will become the base for the hatchery. Put the two bottles together so the second bottle supports the first in an upside down position. And if you like, you can tape them together for extra strength. Cut a length of rigid airline tubing to roughly the same height as the reservoir bottle. Attach a length of flexible airline tubing to it. Attach the other end of flexible airline tubing to your air pump. The rigid airline tubing should be placed into the reservoir. Alright, now you've finished constructing the hatchery. So next I'll show you how to hatch the brine shrimp and feed them to your fry. Fill the brine shrimp hatchery about four-fifths of the way full with warm tap water. There's no need to use dechlorinator for this. Turn on the air pump. Add one level tablespoon of salt. And just a pinch of baking soda. The baking soda helps keep a stable pH. Now you can add your brine shrimp eggs and make sure you buy eggs with the best hatch rate you can afford. Turn on your lamp and position it directly over the hatchery. This is done because A, brine shrimp need a constant light source in order to hatch, and B, it also helps heat the water so they hatch faster. If kept at 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the brine shrimp should all hatch in about 24 hours. Alright, now it's 24 hours later and you can see they have hatched because the color of the bottle has turned orange from the color of the brine shrimp themselves. At this point, turn off the air pump and allow the hatched brine shrimp to settle to the bottom. If you position the light source so that it's aimed right at the bottom, the brine shrimp will settle faster because they're attracted to light. You can now remove the brine shrimp and avoid most of the eggshells by using a turkey baster to suck them up directly from the bottom of the bottle. Alternatively, you can use a straw by putting your finger over one end and placing the straw all the way to the bottom of the bottle. 
Then when you release your finger, the straw will take up the water right from the bottom, bringing the hatched brine shrimp along with it. Then just place your finger back over the straw to hold the brine shrimp in place while you transport them. Once you've harvested most of the hatched brine shrimp, you can rinse out the hatchery and start the process over again for another feeding. It's a good idea to start a second batch 12 hours after the first one so the fry can have a new meal every 12 hours or so. So you actually may need to create two brine shrimp hatcheries so you can be alternating them every 12 hours. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you found this video helpful. Please click the links on the right hand side for more fish breeding tutorials and content and I'll see you next time.